Hello everyone, my name is Xiao Han Li. I'm from Southeast University. It's an honor to have the opportunity to making this presentation. The subject of my presentation is the mechanism and the detection of alternative splicing events in circular RNAs. I divided it into such five main sections. Circular RNAs are covalently closed RNA molecules that typically comprise axonic sequences and are spliced at canonical splice sites. They were first discovered in RNA virus 40 years ago and later were reviewed in unicellular eukaryotes, archaea, and higher eukaryotes. Based on their origin, circle eyes can be grouped into four categories, axonic sequence, intronic sequence, axonic intronic sequence, and intergenic sequence. Studies have suggested that sequence play various biological roles, such as function as micro sponges, regulating parental gene transcription and cell proliferation, interacting with ion binding proteins, as well as translating proteins. In this review, we summarize the recent findings on biogenesis of circle S forms, progress on detection methods, and highlight the challenges for further research. Recent studies unveiled that circle S are derived from numerous of pre-MIs to mechanisms have been raised to explain the formation of sequoias, which are defined as direct backsplicing and larent intermediate. Broadly speaking, both models involve backsplicing and canonical splicing, but they are notably different in which step happens first. As for direct backsplicing, the loop structure can be formed by either complementary sequence across long flaking entrance or ion binding proteins. The entrance sequence are removed or retained to generate axonic sequence or axonic intronic sequence, respectively. As for larent intermediate mode, canonical splicing appears first, forming a larent precursor and then internal backsplicing take place, which results in a double larent molecular and a circular RNA. Alternative splicing in protein coding or non-coding genes has a dramatic impact on in cellular differentiation and organismal development. Similarly, Circles generated from multiple axon genes are alternatively spliced as well. Alternative splicing events in circles fall into two categories. Circles with alternative back splicing junction site and circles with the same back splicing junction site but distinct in internal compositions. As shown in figure A, a single gene could produce multiple circle eyes which contain different backsplicing junction sites. Well, in figure B, the occurrence of alternative canonical splice with circle eyes lead to S forms that have the same backsplicing junction site but distinct in internal composition. Since circle eyes processing is related to transcription and pre-MI splicing, circularization is presumably influenced by both cis-regulatory elements and trans-acting factors. For instance, splice mode assembly, uh, topological effects due to intronic sequence and combinatory of eye binding proteins. Remarkably, the mechanism of backsplicing has been determined to some extent, and several factors related to generation of different circle as forms have been reported. Reverse complementary sequence flaking the circular axons, such as abundant ALU elements, highly conserved mammalian wide interspersed repeat sequence or other non-repetitive complementary sequence are efficient to enhance 
axon secularization by forming paired duplex structures. Theoretically, a series of inverted repeat eye pairs from different eye duplex result in multiple circle eye isoforms. Moreover, an individual intron can also form eye pairing which promotes canonical splicing to liner eye formation. Taken together, the endogenous conditions for circle eye generation are very complex. Since the number of repetitive elements and the distance between them and their degree of complementarity all affect the splicing outcome. Moreover, various alternative splicing events were observed despite of the presumably identical or paired complementary sequence among all tested human samples, which indicated that the regulation or alternative splicing is more complicated than we found. Previous studies showed that the eye, binding, the eye pairing was influenced by eye binding proteins as well. Negative eye binding proteins will surprise circle eye formation by destabilizing eye pairing interactions. Nevertheless, those factors mentioned above will count, will count adequately explain the widespread nature of alternative splicing in circle eyes. It's helpful to discover the roles of alternative splicing in circle eyes by large scale identification of fullness circle eyes. Circle eyes containing unique backsplicing junction site are differ obviously from their host liner eye counterparts, and hence the back splicing junction site is critical for their identification. Given the fact that distinct splicing leads to differential components of axons or introns using back splicing junction sites only to represent subset of circle variants, greatly limits our under understanding of biogenesis functions and evolution of circles among species. Recently, a number of efforts have been made to address this challenge. Current studies show that circles abundance is approximately less than 10% of their corresponding liner eyes, and the estimation of circle as forms with lower expression level probably be biased. Therefore, Sequence enrichment is needed prior to eye library reconstruction and sequencing. Owing to the covalently closed structure, most sequence show the higher tolerance to ribonucleus R digestion in comparison with liner eyes. As shown in figure A, liner eyes are first depleted by ISR digestion. After the remaining eye is polyadenylated, a second round of depletion of poly-A eyes using oligo-DT beads leaves a highly enriched population of circles. In an alternative manner, shown in figure B, researchers drawing the inspiration from the figure A method found that ISR could digest the liner eyes more efficiently by adjusting the reaction buffer. Well, it's worth noticing that extensive purification steps will cause significant bias on circle abundance. At present, a combination of iSeq with bioinformatic serve has been widely used for large-scale determination of circles. Table 1 listed the recently published bioinformatic tools used for alternative splicing detection in circles. These tools have different advantages in detection of circles as forms. However, they all face an inherent challenge and that the reconstruction of circles relies on the redlands as well as the insertion sites of CDN libraries. So they are limited to small sequence and based on prediction of large sequence. According to the aforementioned that redlands is the key determination of full-length sequence validation, the utilization of third-generation sequencing technologies, 
such as Pachelbel long read sequencing, is likely to identify circuit variants accurately, as reverse transcriptase have potential strand displacement activity, it allows the displacement of any complementary sequence hybridized downstream to produce many copies of the same template. Owing to the unique structure of sequence, multiple rounds of reverse transcription could produce double or triple size products. Some methods have been developed by combined nanopore sequencing with a PCR-based approach to gain insight into the internal structure of the quads. From what have been discussed above, we can draw the conclusion that the regulation of alternative splicing in endogenous conditions is far more complex than we have discovered and requires further investigation. To some extent, identification of their full-length sequence contributes to further understanding the regulation and the function of alternative splicing. In light of the issues, novel bioinformatics tools have been, as well as long-read-based sequence methods, are needed to reconstruct circuit as forms. And we believe that with the development of methodologies, new insights will be provided on understanding roles of circuits and the previous unknown biological phenomena in the coming years. There are some references we have used. Thanks for your listening.